Exciting as we fast track through our whole show, this is Express. And this time we're in the kitchen. We're cooking with Trap today, Trap with Cut. And Justine Drake is here, our editor of our Fresh Living magazine. I saw your giggle. Okay? Yeah, well, Trout with Cloud, come on. <laughs> I mean, really. Listen, there's a Trap Prout as well. No, I'm, I'm sure, and I don't even want to go there. I'm not going there. How are we doing this? Okay, we're doing it really simply. We've got some salmon trout. Here we are. Skin side down, if there was skin on it, you're going to put it... Get a deeper dish if you can. Then really, it's incredibly simple. A lot of people do it differently, so it's a Scandi recipe, mm. right? So it comes. So sometimes there's a bit of gin involved, but right. it's always a little early for gin. <laughs> then you're going to take some coarse salt, scatter it over quite liberally. I mean, okay. it's not going to taste particularly salty, but you are trying to cure something, so you need salt. You also, bizarrely, need sugar. I saw that earlier and I wasn't sure. Hey? Well, it's about balancing all the flavours and you don't want it to become this sort of salty disaster area. Do you put as much salt as sugar? No, a little bit more salt than sugar. Sugar, okay. Yeah. Um, right, some fresh dill. You could use dried dill, but this is quite nice. We've yeah. got some cracked pepper. Okay, I see how it's like making biltong here. Hey? It's like, exactly, <laughs> darling. A little more sort of genteel and mm. slightly sexier because it's pink. Of course. But you know. And English. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say anything to that either. <laughs> right, then you're going to grab another piece. So you're going to do sort of flesh to flesh, kind of like... Like a sandwich. Like a sort of love affair. Yeah, yeah. there we go. A little All right. trout sandwich. So, so you do the same on the other and side. And you do the same on the other side. It's all terribly simple. The only thing is you've got to plan this ahead. And the reason you have to plan this ahead is because it's going to take two days in the fridge. Oh, wow. So it's not something you rush. No, you don't do it the morning and cook it no, Friday night. No, darling, that's not going to work. <laughs> it's not good. And in fact, you don't cook it at all. Right. Because now this is the this curing is the process this that is sort of cooks. like cooks it. Mm -hmm. So shove it all on, sort of like that, a bit more pepper. And now what you would do if we weren't on espresso right. is you would take a brick or maybe, <laughs> maybe that's a little sort of, or a, or a wine bottle and weight it down. You want some pressure on yes, it. Yes, so you're going to cover it with some cling film or something and then weight it down because you want the sort of flavours to matter and you want it to cure. But if it just sits there all by itself, it won't do it. not a lot is going to mm. happen. What you're going to kind of end up with is this. And look, it goes deeper in colour yeah. as well. And you see all the juices are seeped out, the salt and everything, and basically it's curing. Now, you see? Ah, uh, I see. Now, I can't help but ask, the, the sauce around it, no, that's... It's, yeah, toss okay. it away, darling. It's not going to be particularly delicious. Okay, I was going to... And you're going to also toss all of that off... Before you use it. And... Before you use it. And now you have a piece of, well, not hopefully not built on, but cured chart. So you can see all this sort of puffiness has gone. It's, it's not soft and... Well, it is soft, but, I mean, it's not yeah. like the soft flesh. And then the thing about it is you've got to slice it really thinly. And now you can use it for whatever you like. Just a salad or... A salad, we can... We can speaking of salad. which, yeah, after the break, we're literally cooking with um, our preserved trouts or what do you call it? Cured, darling, cured, cured, cured yeah. Cured trout. Until you cook a lot, right? <laughs> <laughs> our cured trouts. And we're going to make a beautiful salad, so don't go anywhere. But our keyword for this is trout. So trout to 33728 to make a cured. Or cooked, like I just called it earlier. It just shows you, how Justine. Darling, you know you're so pretty, I don't think it matters. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can get away with murder. Listen, this kitchen is... Everything but a murder mystery. After the break, we're cooking with chat. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after the break. By partnering with the WWF, we found goodness in sustainable fishing practices. Pick and pay. Always there for you. Before the break, we made cured trout. Now, trout with clout is our theme in the kitchen for today. And uh, Justine Drake, our editor of our Fresh Living magazine, is in studio and in our kitchen today. And we are creating a salad this time. Well, we're going to do a couple of things with trout this morning. Right. So, um, the next one's going to use fresh trout. But now we've got the cured trout. Now, you could toss it into a pasta, I suppose, and you could certainly make a stunning sandwich or use it as part of an antipasti platter mm -hmm. and do sort of things like that. But this is, a, this is actually a bit of a Jamie Oliver moment, actually. We'll kind of bastardise, because sometimes one doesn't have the time to do what Jamie no, does. No, no. Although we do love him, bless his heart. So what we've got is raw, fresh beetroot. So we're now also talking uber health here, because we've got beautiful cured trout. We should be eating fish at least three times a week, minimum. Okay. A can of fish does count, happily, okay. if time is a bit short. Right. And I'm beginning to think your cooking skills are quite up there. No, Justine, they're amazing. Please, do not be fooled. In this <laughs> espresso kitchen, I learned so much. <laughs> 
Please do not be afraid. But yeah, tinder fish, I guess, it will mm. do as well. But the cute, that was really easy to make. That is easy to yeah. make. Yeah. And so is this. So we've got some shaved beetroot. It's not cooked. Okay. Beautifully healthy. Some white balsamic vinegar. The reason white um, is because the, the black, dark balsamic vinegar sort of leaks into the fish. Yeah. And the fish okay. goes as not a beautiful colour. So I kind of think. A bit of lemon. It's really, I mean, this is... It's incredible. really simple. It's like a raw food. It's beautiful. It's raw food. Yeah, exactly. But it's salt and pepper. Now, if you've got time in life, you're going to let this marinate for about, just about 20 minutes, because what you want is the sort of flavour to leak, so it's not leak in, that doesn't sound very good, seep into the, to the <laughs> into beetroot. Into the beetroot. Yeah. And as you mentioned, it is raw. Okay. And it you is just raw. just made it in beautiful shavings. Exactly. Okay. Then you're going to grab a few leaves. We've got... We've got watercress and baby spinach and a bit of rocket and a bit of um, uh, red spinach. So that's pretty colours. Yeah, it's really it's all pretty. looking quite sort of, I don't know, jolly and spring-like. You wouldn't fancy, think it was spring I'd if you say. looked outside the door. <laughs> fancy, it, well, yeah, it's kind of fancy, I suppose. It is fancy, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's sort of fancy with a bit of um, clout. <laughs> Dare I say You it. didn't like my word clout earlier. I know when it's I've decided it's not so bad now. <laughs> okay. Trout with clout in our kitchen today at Express as we're cooking with trout. This time around, our cured trout uh, that Justine made earlier, which was fairly easy, and she's making a beautiful beetroot salad this time. Uh, you can create this at home. If I can make it, you can too. So look at that. It's okay, colourful. Darling, you see it's beautiful. And then we're going to just put the trout... Now, if you hated fish, I suppose you could do this with beautiful, moist biltong. We were talking about biltong just now. You could do it with um, carpaccio. You could... Yeah. It's just a lovely... and But the cured flavour with a sweet beetroot is really nice. But what the sort of trick at the end is, and you don't have to do this. Any guesses to what this is, darling? Uh, it is a stick. Exactly. It's not what it is. It's a stick of horseradish, <laughs> fresh horseradish. I actually asked someone earlier, so did I didn't you? know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's truly delicious. So if you can find fresh horseradish, then that's the stuff to get. So you peel them off and then you... And you peel it and then you grate it a bit like ginger. And horseradish and, and trout or salmon is a really good combo. Okay. It's quite hot and peppery, so don't, like, lose the plot. Okay, Do you know use what I mean? a little bit. Okay. Use a little bit. Um, if you don't have this, you could put some... Some um, of the uh, oh, horseradish you can get. Uh, you can get crane. They I call was going to ask you because it smells one. like crane. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, crane is exactly that. Yeah. So you can put that. You could. I wouldn't put the creamed horseradish here because it's going to ruin no. the look. A bit. The crane is reddish in colour and it, it's it's the same. Pickled horseradish, yeah, basically. It's, it's, it's pickled. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. And my love, then you can just do a bit of extra whatever. Bit of salt, not too much salt, because your, your normally, salmon's a little bit yeah, salty. But I normally get to put the pepper on just to oh, sorry, do everything. Oh, yeah. good lord. No. <laughs> oh, now, what I didn't put in, because it is very, very early in the morning, is a bit right. of dill. But we have some dill but on we've the, got some dill in there, yeah. so I'm not going to stress out. And that's essentially now beautiful rye bread mm. or some crusty ciabatta. Lekker. Lovely glass of wine, perhaps not at this crack of dawn. But no, you know, I have water, hey? Yeah. Some water and think, some beautiful beetroot trout salad. That looks amazing. Yeah, so simple. It's, look, could you do it? Yeah. yeah, well, it's simple enough that I think we should have a look at how this beautiful salad was created. Scatter dill over the flesh of one fillet. Mix together salt, sugar, peppercorns and fennel, then sprinkle onto trout. Place other fillet on top, skin side up. Cover and refrigerate for two days. Remove excess salt before serving. Mix together beetroot, lemon, seasoning, oil and vinegar, then scatter onto salad leaves. Top with trout and grated horseradish. And our keyword is trout. So trout to 337282. To recreate this beautiful recipe and you'll get a list of our pick and pay ingredients. And you can also make a beetroot and cured trout salad with some horseradish on it. Beautiful leaves, right, Justine? Exactly, darling. You said it like a true professional. Oh, no, I am a true <laughs> professional. Do the part. You have to you have to try the I'm not even doing it. I can't compete with lips like uh, yours. Look at yours are beautiful too. Well, they're not bad, but they're not. Right, see the crew is shaking. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna teach her the pout, the trout pout. Uh, but Care for a beachy and sandy environment. Over to you, Leanne. Pout, pout. We found goodness in goed gedacht olive oil and all the good they do for the community. Pick and pay. Always there for you.